What is up, Realists? We are here at the bottom of the dam today. Just bringing some worms, some crickets, trying to see if we can catch anything down here. Um, already lost a hook, and we've already caught at least one fish so far. So definitely already learned there's a little bit different way to fish in moving water when you're doing live bait than there is in ponds and stuff. So we're gonna get out here on the reel. We're gonna try to hook up some more stuff and uh, see if we can catch some more fish. I'm gonna have one rod going over this way, um, over that way closer to the dam I'm just sitting on the bottom see if I can't catch any bottom feeders uh, with a worm and then I'll be out fishing for whatever will bite crickets so let's go get on the reel let's go see if we can catch some fish I right, got a worm on this one so I'm gonna be throwing it over there in the other water jamming it in some rocks here so let's see if we get anything on that one let it do its sinky sink thing. I actually don't know how deep the water is here, but loosen up our drag. Okay. So we tighten it up, maybe. Right, we're just going to see what happens. Alright, then we're going to get back to the crickets. So, whew. <clears throat> all right. So, a couple I've already hooked so far. I've been basically just straight out. As nice as a decent size bluegill here so far. Be cool if we can get some other species though, that'd be the cool goal. Chuck it out there as far as it'll go. Let it sink, and I'm just gonna start slowly reeling it in. Oh, well, had a bite already, but I don't know if there's any more cricket left. We'll have to see if we get another bite, or if uh, once it gets in, we'll definitely see if there's any cricket left for sure. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Keep him tight. Keep him tight. I lost the first one because I didn't have a good hook set. Oh, yes. What do we get? Oh, yeah. Look at that, boy. Okay. I double hooked this guy. Let's see what we got. Hook out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. First one on camera. Second one caught. Oh, 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 he's gonna try to flop. All right, we're gonna hold him there because he's gonna try to flop, looks like. All right. Come on, buddy. Nice one to start off with. Always good. Watching my other rod here. I'm just expecting it to like disappear, like just thump into the ground. Luckily, the other rod I've got set up over here with the worm on it, um, it uh, is a Franken rod. I got a reel from somebody who uh, who found some stuff in a storage unit, and then I got a rod that I just have for ages, and uh, using it. So, all right, back out to the water. Got one down so far. Oh, I think something weird happened. My bobber's not sitting up straight. All right. Now, some of these people can cast so far, and it's such a beautiful cast. Okay, not sure. Gonna get any bites on this reel? Oh, speaking of speaking of no bites as I talk about it. Okay. So it feels like a lot of them are kind of halfway between the moving water and here. So caught a couple decent ones out yonder though. It's very rude. Turn on the camera, get one catch, and then it just dies. <laughs> Probably need to put a fresh cricket on there. 
it's almost a whole cricket still. Hmm, curious. Curious, sir, and curious, sir. Get over yonder. A little closer to the uh, hardcore water running. I want to call them rapids, but they're not rapids. Oh, oh, nope, I don't think I got anything. Nope, something bit it though. I did it. Uh -huh. Where's my bobber at? Oh, I do have something. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't fighting at first. Oh, it's fighting good now. What do we get? Ooh, get out of my line. Got another one. Oh my goodness, these guys are nice and chunky. Nice and chunky. Very cool. All right, we're gonna get this guy unhooked and uh, we'll show you the release. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. There we go, another good size one. Pretty, go on buddy. He was already starting to curl up like he was about to jump, so we'll let him get on his way. Alrighty, sweet. Two decent sized gill right here. Both of those probably would have been great for nom nomming if you're into nom nomming fish, but don't catch all my fish if you know where this spot is, so. I'm a pure catch and release guy right now. Not quite into catching cooks quite yet. We'll learn eventually. There we go. Not the same. Oh, I got a bite. Do I have one? No, I do have one. Oof. And every one of these has been a good fighter. Hoping to see if I can't catch something other than a gill. Looks like we got a lot of gills right here. Ooh, yep, got me another one. That's three, man. It's a nice little spot now that I figure out how to do it. I, for real, sat here for probably about 10, 15 minutes. Just kind of doing the whole tossing and leaving it thing before we figured out to, how to get them moving. Yeah, there we go, another nice one. Start moving the moving the jig there, or moving the cricket. And since then, I've almost caught one every uh, every cast so far. So I was telling telling my kiddo, I was like, I'm almost getting tired of crickets because they're almost too easy. <laughs> Let's go back over that away. Check on my worm rod in a second. Oh, 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 another little guy. <laughs> it's a little guy. Oh, it's a different species though. Yes. Not a bluegill. A green sunfish. I love these guys. These guys I like they have a bigger mouth and they're chunky and they're usually pretty strong. I love how dark fish are in the in the moving water compared to the stale water. Look how orange that is, though. That is awesome. All right, buddy. Go on. Right, let's check our worm rod real quick. Let's see. If we still have worm. That's going to be the biggest thing. Do we still have worm on here? We do. It looks like nobody's messed with it either. Let's see if anybody's messed with it. Not a bit. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're going to go a little bit closer to the uh, water. Let's see if we can't go to the corner here. The old Franken rod. Alright. This guy got pretty close, so we'll see what happens. I feel like as soon as I said almost every cast though, haven't gotten a bite since. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna pack it up here. Move on down. And see if anybody's a little bit further down now. I don't know why it's kind of died off here, but 
it is what it is so that's why if you're not catching somewhere don't worry about moving just move that's also why i don't like carrying a ton of stuff but you know sometimes you, you try to carry as much as you can to get the best chance of catching something so it's a while that nothing nothing at all hit this worm <laughs> There's not even like a bite mark on that guy. All right, buddy. Let's go see if we can feed you to somebody else. All right, we'll be back in the next spot. I'll see you in just a second. All right, moved to a little bit of spot, a little bit up the ways here. Not sure what's going to be here, but we will see. relatively shallow here so I am kind of concerned about it uh, getting caught up in the in the rocks here yep there it is I saw it coming too I was trying to get over it ah oh, now <sighs> Kind of wait for my bobber to hopefully drift over this way a little bit, but I can see if my leader's busted. Let's see, it probably did. Yep, right up my leader. All right, we're gonna wait for our bobber to come over here. Hopefully, it'll get to me and I can get it. So we can re re reline this one back up, try some more crickets. Probably move a little bit further down where the water's deeper, but you know, it's part of what happens. Over to this side of the worm rod. Into more of the flow here. We're out in the flow now. Kind of wanted to be on the edge of the flow, but all right oh yeah like i said the edge of the flow definitely has a better chance of i think i got a fish but i got a tangle too so i'm trying to figure out where which is all right maybe the fish got my tangle untangled all righty so move spots right there at the edge of the at the edge of the flow got a gill here i'm not right-handed well, I am right-handed, but I'm not used to pulling a fish off right-handed. <laughs> Alrighty. Little guy. Very cool. See you, friend. Alright, it's definitely going to be right at the edge of this water flow. I'm going to find some friends to catch. Alright. This is it. This is the cast. Cast to send us on. There we go. Got him. Something. I keep him on though. That's the problem. He's not a big one. He's not a big one, but he's a one. So, whoo! It has been a hot minute since we caught one. But I only got on to one more. So we head on our way. Whew. All right. One more? Ah, a terrible cast. Oh, I had a bite. <laughs> All right, we got to go. All right, let me pull this one in. Hook it up for the day. All right, realist, that's going to be it. Got a couple awesome little bluegill, one green sunfish, mostly on the crickets up here, but super fun. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have a great day, great night, great morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. Thank you so much. And hopefully you can find your day, yourself on the reel real soon.